Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. We're continuing our walk through the book of Proverbs. And today, we're going to think about this idea that words can bring joy to both the people who hear them and joy to the person who speaks them. And that might seem kind of strange, but I want you to listen to this one simple proverb, Proverbs 15, verse 23. In Proverbs 15, 23, we read these words. A man finds joy in giving an apt reply. And how good is a timely word. A person, a man or a woman, can find joy in giving an appropriate, an apt reply. That's, that's an amazing thought. That we can, if we respond appropriately, we can almost stop and go, yeah, that was, that was helpful, that was good, that was, that was life-giving. Uh, but, but then also, how good is a timely word? And so a couple of thoughts here. One is this. Uh, have you ever heard somebody give a wonderfully appropriate reply? We, you heard somebody ask a challenging question or, or just an uh, inquiry about something, and they respond, and you just kind of think to yourself, yes, that is, is what, well said, helpful thoughts, cogent, uh, intelligent, articulate. I mean, there's something about that you just kind of go, that's a good thing. In our world today, with so much stuff that's just vomited out, so many things, people ask questions, people just start, start to kind of blah, put out all their stuff. When someone actually gives an appropriate, an apt, an appropriate reply, that's wonderful. You've also, and I've also had times where you hear somebody ask a serious question or, or interacting with somebody, and all of a sudden the reply they give is harsh, it's not thoughtful, it's inappropriate. And there's something that sort of darkens the soul. It's something that sort of discourages us when we hear that. And, and when we speak things that are appropriate, that are timely, we find joy in it. As I was thinking about this simple proverb, I thought about a man named Harold Corver. I've mentioned him before in, in different devotions I've done, but Harold was a mentor when I was in seminary. I was in my 20s. My wife Sherry and I were going through seminary together, and one of the other students, Ken Corver, uh, his father was a pastor. Ken was going to become a pastor. And I've stayed in touch with Ken for the last 40 years that we've walked through ministry together. But his dad, when you asked him a question, uh, Harold would pause, he would think, and then he would just speak wisdom, an apt reply, gracious words. Some of, some of my most memorable quotes, I, and I've actually quoted Harold Corver in books I've written more than anybody else I've quoted. And, and I, he, at one time he was talking about, he, he said to a bunch of young uh, people that were going into full-time ministry, he said, listen, when you go into ministry, you remember this, when you, go, when you go into a church that's been there for 20 years or 50 years or 100 years, he said, remember these words, if you bless their past, those people, they'll bless your future. And then he said these words, if you damn their past, they will damn your future. He said, Jesus was there at that church working long before you got there, and Jesus, if he doesn't return, will be there after you're gone. So don't come into a church and, and complain about the past and speak poorly of the past. Bless the past. Celebrate the past. And let them then bless the future. So, so here's God's word for us today. A person finds joy in giving an apt reply, and how good it is to speak a timely word. I want to encourage you to slow down. What are you about to say? Someone asks you a question, you're going to give a reply. You're going to speak with the power of your words. Are these words going to bring joy to the person who hears them? And will these words actually bring joy to you? Because you can stop afterwards and say, that was an apt reply. That was an appropriate response to that question. I said it well. I said it thoughtfully. I said it graciously. I said it redemptively. We can bring joy to others and to ourselves by the words we speak. That's God's wisdom for you today. Lord God, this is our prayer, that we would learn to give an apt reply, that we would stop and reflect and not just, just blurt out whatever comes to our mind, but speak words that bring life and hope and healing and grace. And then let us take joy as we see the joy in other people's faces when they hear what we have to say. We pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Blessings on you. And again, if you're not part of a local church, join us online or on campus at Shoreline Church at 9 and 11 on Sundays. If you have a home church, get engaged. there be part of the body of Christ. Have a great week.